Hello friends, I am Dr. Sikandar Ali, the Assistant Professor of General Surgery. In previous lecture, we learned how to read the X-ray neck, epilateral and odontoid views and other views with the normal findings. Today, we will learn how to find out the abnormal findings like fractures, dislocations and other soft tissue pathologies. The most common fracture of the cervical spine is C2 vertebrae fracture contributing up to 30% of the total spinal injuries. So in this case, let's follow the basic principles and start with the alignment. So C2 vertebral body is not aligned with the rest of the vertebras and a fracture line is clearly visible in the vertebral body. So this is case of C2 vertebral body fracture. There is a pedicle fracture of C2 also known as the axis with slight subluxation of C2 body and this especially occur in you know bipedicle fracture and decreased prudential space so this is typical hangman fracture of C2 or axis. So this is open mouth view showing fracture of the dense process and not extending to C2 body so this is type 2 odontoid fracture. This is X-ray neck lateral view showing uh, increased space between the anterior tubercle and densal process and there is fracture in the posterior arc also. So this, uh, this is clear case of Jefferson fracture of C1. Clearly seen in this X-ray the completely crushed body of C4 and its fragments are dispersed in all directions and disturbing the vertebral canal also this is a uh, bust fracture of vertebra. A small fragment of vertebral body is fractured known as teardrop fracture and additionally widened uh, retropharyngeal or periventral space and showing abnormal gas shadow in the space and this may be because of associated pharyngeal or tracheal injury. Anterior part of C5 and C6 is compressed while posterior part is normal and giving the shape of wedge. So this is known as the wedge fracture of vertebral body. Degenerative diseases of disc and vertebras may give X-ray findings of narrowing of the intervertebral spaces, skeletal changes of the vertebral bodies, and osteophyte formations, with or without spondylolisthesis or displacement of the vertebras. This was all about the basic knowledge of common fractures and degenerative disorders of cervical spine. And in the next video, we will learn about the common malignancies and soft tissue injuries of the neck. And if you like uh, the video, please share and subscribe and give your feedback on email address given below. Thank you very much.